How's it going everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of the Nottingham Forest career mode on FIFA 20. If you've not yet seen episode 3 please do go back and watch it but we played Stoke and we lost 2-1 quite frustratingly, beat Blackburn 3-0 and beat Brentford 3-1. But in this episode we'll be playing this game against Wigan Athletic, playing Hull, simulating Reading and we'll also face Luton. I don't really know why I'm going to play Luton. Reading's probably a bigger game, but I've not played Luton before with Forest, so I just think, you know, the promoted team would be nice. And of course, the next episode, please do make sure you stay tuned because the first game we play is at home to Derby County. I cannot wait to do that one, which is one of the reasons why I'm simulating that Reading game so we can get straight on with that episode, uh, that game in that episode. So, really looking forward to that. But as the title of this video suggests, we will be scouting a future star. We've not yet done it, probably should have done it a little bit earlier, to be honest. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we're going to be doing that. We could go for any of these and we get a decent one, but I'm going to go for this one. Not that it really matters. And yeah, hopefully we'll find someone special. And confirmation that the scout has been dispatched, so we'll get an email from him in a few weeks. But this is the team that we shall be going with for this Wigan Athletic game. Same team as normal, really. I've not made any changes. McKenna continues to captain because, of course, we do still indeed have Joe Wall injured. I don't know for how much longer. Hopefully, it's not too much longer. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just wait for him to come back. But other than that, it is the same as normal. Let's get into the game. So then, an away trip to the DW Stadium. I don't know where Wigan are in real life, but hopefully we can get a win here. I just realised as well that I skipped the press conference. Not that it really matters, but, you know, <laughs> I skipped it. Anyway, Jamal Lowe, J Jacob's in there, Windass, uh, Morsi, play for uh, Egypt as well. I think he's one of the few international players they have. Uh, Brian, the number two, I thought about signing him, and of course, Fox, we used to have him, and I wish we still had him, to be honest, because he did very well for us, but he's now at Wigan. Wigan in here, Windass, plays it back to their right back, off the post, that was terrible defending from us. Windass, they're in here, that was horrendous, that was, that was simply terrible defending, no one picking him up, just... I don't even have any words. I didn't even realise that Wigan played in all blue this season. I don't really like that because they normally have stripes. But anyway, I'm not a Wigan fan so I don't care. But that was simple. That was so simple. Samba should have done better there. He really should have done. Jamalo. They're in here. Put it wide. Windass goes for goal. They could easily get one here though if we don't clear it away. And eventually we do. Not very well though. Lolly. Good boy into the box. Samba Sal. Heads it over the bar. Best chance of the game so far for us. Can we get the lead before half time? Vardy had a chance. Joe Lolly goes for goal. Good save from David Marshall. Windass goes for goal. Good save from Samba. Jacobs. Jacobs is in here. Could get a chance. Good save from Samba. Graben. Graben goes for goal. Wow. That came from absolute nowhere. We do not, we do not deserve that. We've been terrible in this game. But Graben, though, nevertheless. Equalises for us, and it's that man again. He, he scores. He, when you need a goal, we turn to him, and he always seems to deliver for us. There's more. More goes for goal. It's a very good save yet again from Samba. How many times has he saved us this season? Okay then. So I'm bringing on Steve Munier for Graben, Bostock for Silver, and also Michael Dawson for Kemmer. He's in here. Samba. So how's that offside? Is that a goal? How's that a goal? I thought that was offside. But Samba So gets his first goal of the season, or at least the first goal that I've scored of him. He got a shot. It, the goalkeeper saved. He got the rebound. But I'm, I'm convinced that that was offside before I took the shot. But anyway, I'm not going to complain because we're 2-1 we're up now. And we're heading for quite an undeserved victory in all honesty. But okay, 2-1, fair enough. So then, that is it. Somehow, we win 2-1 against Wigan. Don't ask me how. I need to check the stats. I guarantee that they were miles ahead of us. Teams that get promoted tend to do this sometimes. So, is this, is this a sign? Maybe, probably not. But anyway, we win 2-1. Samba Sal getting the all-important goal. Look at that. They had 17 shots. We had five. Wow. We well and truly robbed them, didn't we? 
we have Pantillamon here complaining that he is not going to play, but is that really much of a surprise? No, it isn't. But yeah, I can't respond to it, so it's a bit weird. I don't know why that's happened, but anyway, we have Hall City next. He has uh, no information on our scattered future start as of yet, so just going to get straight on with the next game at home to Hull City. So then, the first home game of the episode at the Forest Park Stadium, as FIFA calls it. Of course, as we all know, it is the city ground, not the Forest Park Stadium. I forgot to change it, which I'm quite annoyed about. There's Eric Lehigh just there, former red. I'll never forget that moment against Arsenal, mate. I'll always remember you for that. So as it stands, I forgot to tell you about this, we are fifth in the league, which I, uh, I'll be honest, I didn't forget, I didn't even realise we were fifth in the league. Um, so that is fantastic to see. Obviously, that is where we want to be, but it took us a bit of time to get going. So then the whole team, for some reason, it's showing their team first. Don't know why. Lehigh captain against our against his former club, Gazitsky, Erville, Josh Magnus, um, who else? I don't even know many of their players, I'll be completely honest. Burke, Gazitsky, I'm pretty sure he was linked with Forrest in the summer. Uh, well, I don't know how strong it was, but he was definitely linked with us. But anyway, I don't know where Hull are on the table. Anyway, this would be a tricky game. Hull in their all white away kit. Us in our red and white kit. Let's do this, boys. They're silver. Don't have a clue who he is. Plays a good ball into the box. Gazitsky and a very good save from Samba. Hull have got to a good start. Here's Kingsley. Good ball into Magnus. Samba. He is a brick. He's a solid brick wall. There's Carvalho, Carvalho, great boy into the box, surely got to be Joe Lolly. nearly, very nearly Joe Lolly. couldn't get the right connection though, Carvalho, great play from Forrest here, Carvalho, swings a good boy into the box, cleared away, Tomato, oh very nearly, I got really excited then I thought I'd gone in but no, good play Tomato, Tomato goes for goal, good save from their goalie, Huller in, Zitsky. <laughs> Plays it back, Chadwick, very poor defending, very poor defending. There we go then, half time in this game, it is goalless, quite an evenly match affair so far. Probably Hall, probably in the better team, they had the most chances for sure. Samedo had the best effort of the game for us probably, but we've got to try and get the all important goal in the second half. Corner to Hall, they swing it in, cash clears, not very well though, and eventually we get it away. Carvalho. Carvalho's in, there's a good boy to the box, race rebounded to Lolly, goes for the overhead, very nearly. So then I'm going to bring on Albert to Doma for Carvalho, because Carvalho plays a lot, and Adoma will probably start complaining if I don't play him soon. Munio for Graben, and Dawson for Rodriguez, probably will be Dawson's final game for quite a while, because Joe Wall is close from returning. They're in again here, Honeyman, no! I didn't even talk then because I didn't think it was going to be a goal. Better than they deserved, that would have been terrible. Good boy into the box. Honeyman, it was a good save, but... Oh. Is that Honeyman from Sunderland? I'm sure there's a Honeyman used to play for them, but I don't really care to be honest. 1 0 down, heading for defeat. They're in here. Honeyman, very nearly got another there. 1 0 defeat, at home to Hull. Not good enough, lads. Not good enough. After a good win against Wigan, we cannot capitalise. I mean, I'm surprised we're fifth, to be honest. <laughs> Probably aren't now, but yeah. Just like Forest of normal, not this season anyway. Well, not yet anyway. We're being very inconsistent. Question. Unfortunately for your team, Hull City managed to score the winner during the last minutes in a very tight game. What do you make of it? Well... I think they were. They were the better team. A difficult game. The players seem to be lacking confidence. I suppose they do, yes. Let's just go with that. Low confidence. That puts them up. Honeyman was one of the best players in their position today. Is this the reason why you couldn't get a positive result? Well, he did score the winning goal, so maybe, yes. Concentrate on what we can do best. So then we're going to be simulating this game at home to Reading because... To be honest, I'm not really that bothered about playing Reading, I don't particularly like him either, but no offence to them. But anyway, Michael Dawson is asking to play, probably, going to be, probably will be one of his last games, because uh, obviously Joe Wall is close to returning. Uh, I'll just say I'll consider it, but he will play in this game. 
But for this one, I'm going to be slightly rotating. As I said, Dawson is staying in. Robinson's going to come in because I don't really start him that much. Bostock's going to get a rare start and so is Mounier. So uh, I could have put Odoma in, but uh, I wanted to keep Carvalho. So come on, guys. Hopefully you can get the win. 1-0 win. Joe Lolly, of course. But Carvalho getting an injury, just noticed. That could be huge. If Carvalho was injured but Joe Lolly scores, that is a massive name gone. Massive thing, guys. Just hope it's not for too long. But 1 0 win against Reading. Before we find out the extent of the injury, Dawson's saying thank you for playing me. Just say keep it up. There we go. Always cheers him up. One day. Thank God for that. I was, about, I was just thought it was going to be like out for the season. One day. That's nothing. That's fine. Oh, here we go then. Scout has returned. Let's see who we've got. Please be a midfielder or striker. It's a left winger. Okay. This guy from Argentina, Francesco Roldan. Roldan. I might just call him Francesco, just for sure. But anyway, currently 60 overall. Not amazing. He's 15, so he's not going to get into the team yet. But I'm, bit, I'm disappointed with that potential because Max 94 is incredible. But normally with a scatter view to start, you kind of hope that it will be like minimum... 87 potential, not 81. So he, there's a possibility he'll become a very good player, but he won't become an absolute star player, which is what a scouted future star is meant to be. But oh well, it'd be a while before he gets there anyway. Uh, looking at some of his stats 94 acceleration, 94 agility, sprint speed, incredible. So he's very quick. The stats are amazing. Balance is high. Very good stats. Hopefully, he'll be a star and to, well, hopefully, we'll actually reach his potential. So, then the final game of the episode is going to be away to Luton. I've never played this team before with Forest, anyway. I've played them before in FIFA, obviously, but uh, not with Forest, of course, the newly promoted side. In real life, they're not doing that well. And uh, let's just check before we get into the game where they are here. They're 20 seconds, so they're doing even worse in real life. Who's also down there? Brentford and Mill. Brentford, surprise about that. Uh, obviously, we are fifth, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, uh, the team in second is not quite as fantastic. And Stoke are top, Cardiff, Fulham, and Blackburn. So not bad. Leeds aren't doing very well. Before we do get into the game, I, I do want to change it up slightly because we are playing Luton. I know it's just a bit of a risk, but I want to give Ryan Yates a chance to start. Robinson as well um, is well. He's still got that logo at the top. Look. Okay, I'm going to put... Dawson's not fully fit. And right now, he is third choice. So, Rodriguez is going to come in. Wall's also going to come in as well. I feel so for Dorinko because I'd love to play him more. But he just can't... He just is not in getting to the team. Adoma. Do I rest Joe Lolly? Okay, he plays every game. I'll give Adoma a chance. Uh, we could rotate a little bit more, I suppose. We've got Thiago Silva there. I'm not going to go any further than that. Any reserves? No, we don't have Brendan Johnson in the team. It's just a shame that, because he's playing quite a bit in real life. Oh well, not in the team. But yeah, that's him. We're going with Mounier, um, uh, Adoma, Yates, and Rodriguez come back in. Uh, and so does Robinson. So hopefully that should be good enough. It should be, surely. So then, we are here at Kenilworth Road. This club has risen all the way back up to the championship. They were not long ago in the National League after being docked like 30 odd points. Their right has been fantastic, but it's great to see them back in the championship. Luton team then, I'll be honest, I don't know many players. Luke Bolton, I know he's on loan from City. Uh, Shinnan, Potts, Collins, uh, that Hilton guy on the bench looks decent. McManimum, I'm aware of him. Um, Masonda, I don't know who he is. Turncliffe. Stetch and goal. Okay, we'll see how they go. We'll see how they go. I just realised as well that Ryan Yates is our captain for this game. I don't really know why that's happened, but okay. Wish him luck. Semedo. Semedo's in here. Semedo. Is that in? Yes, it is. 1 0 to Forest. What a start. Semedo has been insane. He's been brilliant on the ball. He's been so good. But what I'm surprised about is he's been scoring so many goals. That's like his seventh goal of the season or something. But. Wow, okay. Alpha Semedo scores after four minutes. That only just went in, but okay. Could he get his second for Forest? Mounier! He does indeed. 
you wouldn't have seen it, but he has been really poor in the first 35 minutes. He gave the ball away like four or five times, but he's made up for it there. And Steve Moulier gets his second goal for Forest. Second goal of the career mode, of course. Fantastic goal from the edge of the box. What a strike that was. Into the top left-hand corner. Semedo, great play. Jack Carvalho, I'm going to go for goal here. Carvalho, what a finish. What a finish. The whole builders of that goal, the whole the whole way that worked out was just fantastic. I mean, I know we're playing against a weak team, but this is like our third big win. Like, we've won 3 0, we've won we're winning 3 0 here, maybe more. Of course, we smashed Swansea 4 0 in uh, this second episode, I think it was. But yeah, we just need to do this more often because, as you just saw in the last game, we lost to Hull. We've got to be more consistent. Real life, we seem to have found uh, a bit of consistency, which is a rarity. We have to do it here as well. They're in. Collins. Could Collins get a consolation goal? Goes over the bar. Okay then, so Joe Wall is going to make his return from injury. I'm going to bring on for McKenna because McKenna's actually playing quite a bit, to be honest. Bostock is also going to come on for probably Samedo because Samedo and Sal play a lot, but I think Samedo would be the best bet. Uh, even though Samedo's younger than Sal, I still think I'm going to do that. And the others, all the others are regulars, apart from Pantelemon, but I'm not going to bring in a keeper. So, uh, I mean, Devin isn't decent. I'll bring on Graven, because even though Muni has scored, I've not been that impressed with him. John Bostock's on the ball. I've not scored a goal with him yet. His pace ain't that good, but he just goes for goal. Saved. Carvalho swings it in. Kemmer goes for it, but comes to nothing. Comes back out. Adoma's going to go for goal, but it's deflected. That is it. Full time, comfortable, convincing 3 0 win. It could have been more. But it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. We get a convincing win. A 3-0 victory against Luton. That will keep us in the playoffs. And what a fantastic way to round off the episode. Other than Hull, it has been a very good episode in terms of results. Do you have any advice for Luton? They're not at our level. No advice. Keep trying. Yeah. I don't know why that was the first question, but oh well. Quite a resounding victory with a 3-0 score. Doesn't mean you don't really finish it, but okay. How pleased were you with the win? Uh, we can do even better. That normally annoy annoys me, to be honest, but we could have won by more. I'm going to go with that. It puts it up, so that's good. Final question then. Pearson was one of the best players for Luton. How difficult was it to stop him? I didn't even know he was one of their best players, but <laughs> I just thought we played, just played our game. And yep, the squad is very happy with that. And one last thing we're going to do before we end the episode off. I do this at the end of each episode, I think. Train the youngsters. Uh, for some reason, I can't train our scattered future star. He might be in the youth team. I'll have to check. But anyway, simulate drills. Nothing that impressive. <laughs> it's an A for McKenna, D for Cash, and Yates. I'll have to change them, probably. A B for Hughes, and a C for Silver. But that is going to be it for yet another episode of the Forest Creamer. The support so far has been fantastic. So thank you so much to everyone who has watched and supported the series. Really does mean a huge amount. But please do make sure you're, you're tuned for the next episode because it's the big one. It is Derby at home. I've got to win that game. If I let you all down, particularly Forest fans, I never forgive myself. So yeah, please make sure you check out that episode when it does come out very soon. Like and subscribe to Rats Gaming. I'll see you next time.